The AI revolution is taking a $500 billion leap forward. We announced the largest AI infrastructure project by far in history, and it's all taking place right here in America. There's a lot of drama here, and anyone interested in human health and longevity should be particularly interested. Now, coming up, I'm going to be unpacking why this project is a game changer, how it's going to accelerate breakthroughs in medical science, and why it'll completely disrupt how we think about anti-aging research. Plus, I'm going to briefly touch on the drama in this business venture between Elon Musk and Sam Altman, and why Elon's perspective might be a valid cause for concern. All that and more right now. Welcome to Longevity Science News, I'm Emmett Short, and in this episode, I'm giving you five huge reasons why the anti-aging community should be keyed in on this new company called the Stargate Project. Stargate was announced by Donald Trump at the White House on his first full day of his second term. Beginning immediately, Stargate will be building the physical and virtual infrastructure to power the next generation of advancements in AI, and this will include the construction of colossal data centers, very, very massive structures. Now, those of you that are familiar with this channel know how excited we are about AI. I talk about it constantly, even when the camera isn't on. But how does an infrastructure project connect back to the topic of lifespan? Longevity is going to be extended by solving and decoding our biological code. And for that, we need AI to analyze the vast data sets. And for AI and data crunching, we need data centers. So the Stargate project intends to build the physical infrastructure of these data data centers to house the massive amounts of computational power needed for the AI to get big and strong and solve all our problems, aging at the top of that list. Now, starting with an initial $100 billion investment and commitment to spend $500 billion over the next four years, a partnership between OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank plans to build 10 to 20 AI data centers across the United States. Now, the first of which began construction in early mid 2024 in Abilene, Texas, and is going to cost an estimated 1.1 billion. That might sound expensive, but these are a little different than your run of the mill internet data centers, which are essentially just digital information storage facilities, kind of like a big hard drive. AI data centers need to have the ability to process, analyze, and generate information by performing millions of complex parallel computations all at once, kind of like a building size CPU. And they still need to store information as well. Each Stargate facility will need around tens of thousands of high end GPUs, potentially hundreds of thousands tens of thousands of CPUs, dozens of petabytes of SSD storage, ultra high speed fiber optic network, an intense cooling system to prevent overheating and enough electricity to power the Las Vegas strip. So I'm not talking about the whole city of Las Vegas. Don't be silly. Just the hotels, lights, slot machines, ATMs, and Cirque du Soleil shows on the Las Vegas Strip. And we're going to build 10 to 20 of those. Depending on the location, electricity alone is going to cost around $1.5 billion per year. A little less if it's chilly outside. It, so if 20 Stargate AI data centers would consume $30 billion worth of electricity per year, then they're also going to need their own power sources. Anyway, you can understand why Stargate is a big, expensive project. And Elon Musk might have been justified when he took to X to claim they don't actually have the money. Now, I'm going to get into the drama a little later, but just first, I'm not a financial analyst. But if OpenAI were entering into a $500 billion business venture and they didn't have the money... That'd be a bad business move. And I don't think anyone would want to buy a tanking business that's massively underfinanced, right? So 20 days later, when Elon Musk offered to buy OpenAI, that made me think, hmm, maybe OpenAI is doing fine. Still, this beef with Elon might be relevant to our AI-infused longevity science goals. And I'm going to touch on that later in this video. With the groundwork being laid for massive AI infrastructure, a health and medicine renaissance is actually becoming possible. Why do I think that? Why am I all hot and bothered about AI data centers? Well, let me run down a quick five reasons. First, leadership. So the people in charge of Stargate, currently Sam Altman, Larry Ellison, and Masayoshi Sun, have a history of investing in healthcare. Admittedly, I'd feel different about the project if it was launched by three CEOs who specialize in weapons manufacturing. But the medical use of AI was one of the primary talking points during the announcement. Here's OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman. I believe that as this technology progresses, we will see diseases get cured at an unprecedented rate. 
uh, we will be amazed at how quickly we're curing this cancer and that one and heart disease uh, and what this will do for the ability of to deliver very high quality health care, the costs, but really to cure the diseases um, at a rapid, rapid rate, I think will be among the most important things this technology does. So these are people with a history of personal commitment to human health and longevity, and that does make a difference. Now, Sam Altman made headlines back in 2023 with a $180 million investment in retro biosciences. That's a company focused on adding 10 healthy years to human lifespan. But he's not just thinking about lifespan. He's in the personal health game too. He partnered with Ariana Huffington on Thrive AI, a hyper-personalized health coach powered by artificial intelligence to help people make health positive micro changes to their daily lives. And a little fun fact, Sam Altman is also one of those rich tech guys who takes a little metformin to fight off the old age. Yeah, he's a fellow longevity nerd just with gobs of money. And his co-founder at Stargate, Larry Ellison, has consistently been a pioneer in the field of human life extension, not to mention looking great for 80. Uh, doing protein design, uh, build design. You know, I mean, we're very involved in designing both small molecules and, and, and protein, much larger molecules, peptides, proteins, um, uh, for um, cancer therapeutics, designing cancer ther therapeutics. The point is, he's a medicine guy. He's not an industrial prison complex guy. That's good. Now, back in 2022, Ellison's company Oracle made its largest acquisition ever when it bought the health records giant Cerner. That put Oracle at the center of a new generation in healthcare where they began revolutionizing electronic health records, ensuring that doctors and patients have access to smarter, AI-driven insights covering everything. I mean, lab results, imaging, test reports, prescriptions, doctor's notes, medical history, billing, and insurance. I mean, everything. Ellison is also very well known for his heavy investment in mRNA vaccine technology and cancer treatments. And with Stargate, he's helping build the AI infrastructure to accelerate the projects that he's already been working on. Using AI to look at the blood test, you can find the, a, a, the cancers that are actually seriously threatening the person. So we can, again, cancer, cancer diagnosis using AI has the promise of just being a simple blood test. Then beyond that, once we gene sequence, once we gene sequence that cancer tumor, you can then vaccinate the person, design a vaccine for every individual person to vaccinate them against that cancer. And you can make that vaccine, the, that mRNA vaccine, you can make that robotically again using AI in about 48 hours. So imagine early cancer detection the development of a cancer vaccine for the, for your particular cancer aimed at you and have have that vaccine available in 48 hours this is the promise of ai and the promise of the future and then there's softbank ceo masayoshi son he's not just stargate's money guy masa has always been a tech guy softbank was initially established with a focus on investing in software development but over the years that extended into computing robotics and ai then in 2017 softbank made a hard pivot with its 100 billion vision fund that expanded into healthcare biotech and genomics. Just last year, Masa outlined plans to bring AI-infused medical care to Japan through a joint venture with the US-based company Tempest AI. And he emphasized the potential of AI to revolutionize treatment options, utilize genetic testing, and improve patient outcomes. You get the idea. Altman, Ellison, and Sun all have distinct commitments to human health and longevity, which makes it an inherent cornerstone of the Stargate project. So that is not only exciting, but also a huge relief. Like, I'm just so glad the founders aren't bio warfare guys. Let's talk more about Stargate's potential for medical breakthroughs. So Stargate's massive level of compute is going to radically accelerate medical breakthroughs. Right now, AI models analyzing medical scans for early signs of cancer or neurological diseases are already outperforming human doctors, but they're still bottlenecked by computational limits. With Stargate's infrastructure, those models can be trained on vastly larger data sets, refining their accuracy and spotting diseases at an earlier stage, you know, when they're most treatable. In my last video, I talked about in silico medicine using AI to design a brand new treatment from scratch 
testing and refining the treatment in a virtual setting, and finally creating a physical molecule that is now in early stages of human testing. So in silico was able to use AI to reduce a 10 year process into just a few months. And they're working with compute that is impressive, but still constrained. So AI models that can take advantage of the computing capabilities of Stargate's data centers could analyze trillions of medical data points in seconds, leading to even faster drug discoveries, better disease detection, and new treatments for age-related diseases. AI-powered Genetic analysis is going to personalize treatments for every individual. Drugs and therapies are going to be tailored for your unique DNA and biology, including custom anti-aging therapies. I mean, we're talking about AI-driven bioprinting of tissues, organs. We could eliminate transplant shortages, allowing people to replace damaged organs with lab-grown AI-designed replacements. You could think of these AI dentist centers like supercharged virtual research labs. And as we increase computational power, it allows the AI to process more data more quickly for anyone who bothers to ask. And that brings me to my third reason. Stargate isn't just for big AI companies. It's for entrepreneurs, for innovators, for small businesses with bold ideas to improve human health. So it's infrastructure that provides a tool for any individual to help others. Some of the biggest advancements in healthcare have come from independent thinkers, people who see a problem differently and create new solutions. Right now, turning a medical innovation into reality is a massive challenge. You need data, you need computing power. And for that, you need funding, AI-driven resources are really only available to million-dollar corporations. So Stargate is going to give people the tools to turn ideas into action, to push medicine forward, and to launch solutions that make a real impact on human longevity. So this isn't just about AI. It's about empowering anyone to change the future of human health. On a related note, many of you have heard me mention the U.S. government ARPA-H program, the Advanced Research Projects Agency for Health. They're always looking for bold health solutions, and they pride themselves in funding high-risk, high-reward ideas to cure diseases, prevent illness, and extend human longevity. But coming up with an idea isn't enough. You need to prove it works or that it could work. So if you're an entrepreneur with a revolutionary AI-driven way to detect cancer early or a personalized treatment model that adapts in real time to a patient's biology with Stargate, you're going to have the computing power to test and refine your concept before ever applying for funding. Like instead of pitching an idea, you could demonstrate results. This is going to give more people more opportunity to drive the future of medicine, secure funding, and bring real change to human health and longevity. But what if you're not interested in researching viruses and developing a company to cure the common cold? What if you just want to find a few ways to get rid of your runny nose? And that brings me to the fourth health-related reason to be excited. Stargate is going to allow personal access to extremely specific AI-driven healthcare. Like right now, if there was a special medicine that only worked on you, the healthcare industry would just ignore it. That's because medical science has built itself around what is, you know, generally applicable. Pharmaceutical companies only want solutions that can be sold to a lot of patients. Doctors recommend treatments that usually work on average with most people. But you aren't most people. And you shouldn't need to try and see if this treatment helps or if that treatment will be better. I mean, with massive computing power that Stargate will provide, we're going to be moving toward a future where advanced AI can be used directly by individuals to create extremely personalized programs to help us take charge of our own health. Imagine being able to dial out and run a real-time analysis of your own health, your genetics, your blood work, lifestyle habits, and get an AI-powered insight tailored specifically to you. And then, you know, when you don't take those recommendations, it readjusts your medical plan to give you new suggestions that you might follow a little bit better. And then it'll give you new suggestions. And then finally, you'll find something that fits. I mean, imagine having so much info about your body that you can predict what might go wrong and which symptoms to look out for, which illnesses you're most likely to develop and how to stop them before they even crop up. Stargate's infrastructure is going to make that kind of AI-driven personalized medicine faster, more accessible, and more powerful than ever. So you're going to have all the knowledge and power of billion-dollar research labs focused directly on you improving your health and your lifespan. I mean, that's the idea anyway. And my final reason why people should be really interested in Stargate is sustainability because Stargate's leaders all share a natural interest in human health. And that gives me confidence that they will also understand that sustainability is not optional. I mean, any potential pollution, water waste, or environmental disruption caused by these AI data centers would harm the very people that 
they're trying to help. I have a hard time believing that they're going to willingly work against their own interests, you know, by powering it with dirty energy. Now, sustainability is a major reason why the first Stargate data centers started construction in Abilene, Texas. Abilene's one of the best positioned communities in the country and in the world to build a project of this scale. Situated close to clean wind and solar energies, just west of major population centers on the crux of the clean energy pipeline. Enables you to power large-scale artificial intelligence workloads uh, in a very climate-aligned and uh, sustainably powered capacity. So from day one, they've been designing this infrastructure with consideration for the future of both technology and humanity. So for now, that consideration overshadows any fear-mongering about carbon emissions from training an AI model or criticism about the gallons of water used for liquid cooling. I get it. We got to watch out for it. But there's really no need to fall into the trap of just assuming that progress and sustainability are at odds. Like, we don't have to choose between AI and a livable planet. Let's just trust that we can have both. Admittedly, that could change, and we got to keep an eye on it. I mean, remember all that drama that I was talking about concerning Elon and Sam? That dispute is rooted in Elon's early support for OpenAI. I provided all of the funding for OpenAI in the beginning, for the first almost $50 million, for nothing, for as a nonprofit. Um, and it was meant to be open source. And so, you know, I think this is analogous to, like, if you pay a bunch, uh, if you fund a nonprofit to preserve the Amazon rainforest, but then they, but instead they turn into a lumber company and, and chop down the trees and sell them for wood. You'd be like, wait a second, that's the exact opposite of what I paid, what I donated the money for. Back then, Sam Altman claimed OpenAI would be a nonprofit built to serve the greater good. You make a lot of money, do you? I make no. Uh, I paid enough for health insurance. I have no equity in OpenAI. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. You need a lawyer. I need a what? You need a lawyer or an agent. I, I'm doing this because I love it. But that plan has clearly been abandoned in favor of a for-profit company, which Elon suggests is just one of many reasons why we shouldn't trust Sam. And it's getting very contentious on X with Sam turning down Elon's bid for the company and offering it to instead buy Twitter for $9.74 billion. And then Elon called him a scammer and Sam called Elon unhappy. Okay, I do have an opinion on this. Look, Elon is attacking Sam for legitimate inconsistencies in his actions and promises. And he's using facts. And Sam Altman is using sort of just wild biased psychoanalysis to aim in below the belt, in my opinion. Just saying. If Elon is right, then maybe we can't trust that Sam really is going to do the right thing for AI, for infrastructure, for eco-sustainability, or for longevity solutions that are accessible to the masses. You know, nothing in life is certain, and we're obviously going to keep an eye on that. But for now, we can take stock that we're starting down a new path that could drastically enhance our lives. So let's take it as a win. All right, that concludes our list of five reasons the anti-aging community should be keeping a close eye on the Stargate project. But here's the bottom line. Every year, the United States spends roughly $3.7 trillion to treat chronic diseases. And it's 90% of our healthcare spending. And that number keeps growing. So if AI can help battle back the chronic disease enough so that only 10% of our spending is used, so we're only spending $410 billion per year, we would literally have trillions of dollars of extra cash to put toward something else, anything else, clean energy, who knows? So because like when people are sick, it hurts the whole country. Making sure our friends and neighbors get healthy should be a critical mission that would enhance all our lives. Tangible advancements in available computing power are going to reshape how we tackle every aspect of health and aging. So tell me, are there any reasons why you are particularly excited about Stargate? Anything you're looking forward to seeing AI develop? What's your take on Elon Musk and Sam Altman's rivalry? Let us know in the comments section. And you might want to take a look at some of these other Longevity Science News episodes where we talk about AI and health right here. Plus, be sure to check out this video right here. And if you know anyone who might be interested in living a bit longer, share this video with them. All right, I'm Emmett Short. Thanks for watching. Bye.